you would think after this long that I would have a better intro than this, right? What is up, guys? Sauce here with yet another, I guess we'll call it a reaction. I know, if you check out my page, it has been literal, literal months since I posted. However, I got on there the other day and posted up a community thing. I'm not sure if anybody actually saw it, but... Um, I, what I ended up saying is that I'm hopping back on the wagon. I've got some new content coming. Um, I hope that you guys really enjoy it. If you don't, then <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to be trying to differ up my content a little bit, uh, just based off the fact that my interests have been, uh, shifting a little bit, but you're still going to get the same, uh, genuine reaction from me, uh, be it reactions, be it vlogs, be it whatever, whatever content I end up putting out. But anyway, today, today what we are going over is I actually saw this video on the WWE YouTube. All right, so what they ended up doing was WWE put out a video that was uh, about Jey Uso and his uh, Samoan traditional tattoos. Now, one of the big things, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video was because of the fact that, obviously, I'm a... Uh, I would say I'm decently heavily tattooed. I don't usually say that I am heavily tattooed, but I think that I have a few. So I always like being able to listen to the stories behind some of these tattoos. I'm not sure what to expect on this at all, but I, I am really excited to check this out. And part of the reason why is because I actually am not the, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of like tribal type stuff. But, but I am very open to it because your boy loves him some Jey Uso. That's right. Yeet. Anyway. All right. Without, <laughs> without much more ado, let's go ahead and hop into this, shall we? Alrighty. Let us get into it, shall we? My largest tattoo is in my back piece. Almost okay. took five days, Uso. Then I had to go to work, <laughs> smack down, and then I was like... I'm trying to hide my my back. I love when he calls everybody to see it until it cracks me up. And it was still fresh, so I'm in there like hitting the ropes and oh. damn near about to pass out. Dang, I could not imagine doing <laughs> like like getting a tattoo and then going and wrestling or doing something super physical. Like I could not imagine what that would feel like. Oh man, that would be awful. My first tattoo, I was 16, and I, I got a cross on my shoulder right here. It's, it's not there no more, obviously, but uh, I think I first you know, that I wanted up, to man. get tattoos when I was like 13, 14, 15. Felt that. Surprisingly, my dad took me. You know, my mom was like, oh my God, you got a tattoo. And, uh, <laughs> I was going to school with one sleeve rolled up the whole way like this. All day, couldn't tell me nothing. Did he work you through I get that, too. that first tattoo? Nah, he dropped me uh, off and left. He signed a paper because I was underage and left. He <laughs> let me pick what I wanted and then left. <laughs> that is so funny. I love that so much. Uh, I I was the same way whenever I got my first tattoo. I would literally sit there and I would just be like, yeah, check it out. Ain't no one can tell me nothing. Man, and look at me now. Look at me now. <laughs> So I want to introduce y'all to the the man of the hour. Uh oh, Michael Fatua Toa, A.K.A. Oh, the best tattooist in the world, Samoan Mike. Interesting. Yeet. My lows, my low, my low, my low means like hell yeah, you know. <laughs> Gosh, how long been tattooing, uh -oh. Gosh, time just went by. Um, I think over ten years now, I would think. Oh wow. Oh gosh, me, the main event himself, Jimmy, uh, Joe, Roman. I mean, <laughs> I'm just putting now. You know, he you know. That's how you know he know. Bronson. That's how Reed, you know he know. Big boy Bronson Reed. Montez oh wow. Ford. Montez. He's tattooed Tamina, a bunch of cool R. people. R.I.P. Wendell Bray Wyatt. Ugh, especially yeah. Wendell. Man, but I, I notice though, man. Every time I'm going through something I miss in my Wyndham. life, whether it be personal or work related. Man, I'm always here. Like, I go, I go get tatted. Like, I, it calms me. Man, being oh, around yeah. Mike calms me, man. Not, not a lot of people can calm me. That's, That's awesome. Cheap, man. I get that, too. That's real cheap. I being get that. Being around his kids, his wife. 
Mike's like my damn uncle, damn near, man. It, it's just deep. It was, it, it's, it's real deep. Man, anybody that's ever gotten tattooed and stuff, if you have a good connection with your artist and everything, I, I feel that because my artist is, uh, he's a really good dude. And every single time I go to get work done by him, it's just, it's incredible because it's, it's almost like a therapy session. Like you get to go and you get this beautiful piece of art, depending on what you're getting, but you get this beautiful piece of art and everything. And then you also get to have that connection that that bond and everything get to talk to him and stuff i think that's really cool so i i definitely get that this is uh sienna and savannah these are my uh, daughters and they're also my apprentices i was happy oh, when wow. they approached me that they had a, a real interest in tattooing and i've been showing them the tricks <laughs> of the trade the since they that. graduated <laughs> from high school i have many other apprentices but to have my own daughters uh my own there's something to be said line. about about those. <laughs> Just grateful tattoos there's you know that, that my style. kids want to pick up the trade, you know. I actually like, really I like thought Jay and Jimmy such and a all waste them, of their tattoos. This end with me. Like I love that palm tree. That me looks really cool. Mike during the tattoo looks process. Really sick. It's, it's not even tattooing, man. It's just him, you know, talking to me and telling me more about the culture. That's so you know, cool. Spending hours with the uh, with them, you know, you really hours. get an insight, you know what I mean, on what, you know, how, how they really are. Oh yeah. You don't even draw it, man. It's just flow and then we go. Because I freehand everything, I've been tattooed wow. for over 25 years now. I don't really uh, wow. stencil anything. I just that is nuts. It, you know? it literally, literally goes. It's like you're drawing your name for the first time on a piece of paper. Like th that's what he do. That is so cool. If you could go here. It says Samoa. This is my first, well, not first tattoo, but like my second tattoo I got in college, like in my dorm room. Mike's like, nah, man, I got it. You know, he just like enhances everything, man. That's so sick. Th this was a cross that I I did have, and I knew I wanted like a lion on me. Man, just the fact that that looks it. really, really cool. I really like that. God, that line work and man, is this about to change me? Is this video about to change my my thought process, my Don't opinion? Cross into a lion face, man. I I didn't. That was his idea. I was just flowing with it. I'm like, yeah, here, go ahead. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do what you do. Traditional tattooing. Uh, it's kind of a big production, you know? You need like three people, mm -hmm. one to stretch, one to wipe, you know, at the same time. So we use uh, boards what? to sharpen to a fine tooth comb. What? And that's what they uh, fasten on like a turtle shell or something with a handle. And that's what the tool is. And you just take a mallet what? And, or what we call the sao sao. And that's what we strike the, the tool with. When we tattooed Jay, you know, that day Jimmy happened to be there and I'm like, hey man, it's the perfect opportunity. Your brother's here, he can stretch for you. And I'm like, no, okay, <laughs> do it. I did it on the back of my leg. Same sensation, uh -huh. just slower. You know, instead of the gun, you know, the gun, you get, yeah, this one, he was like. I'm so glad I did do it. It was having Mike and that's Jimmy so do cool. that. Like, I, I felt like, he said emotional, man. I, I was, man. Like, it's it's a weird feeling. It's like he's the only one that knows the journey I just went on. You know, no one God. sees it Those look but so him cool. in, his, in his mind, and then he, he puts it on me. He's the first person to know before I even mm. know. I, I, I love it, man. man. Oh, I bet that, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's the that's hit behind the, uh, the kneecap. My largest tattoo, uh, I would assume, is my back piece. The first day I got tatted, like we started like on the rib <laughs> side, and I was damn near. I was like, "Oh my god, like, why, why you do this to yourself? Why you That's do this?" Literally, to what I think every single Almost time I get a tattoo. Almost took five days, Oof, literally. And I had to go to work, smack down, and then I was like, "I'm trying to hide my my back from because I didn't want nobody to see it until SummerSlam, and it was still fresh. So I'm in there like hitting the ropes and damn near about to pass out. <clears throat> so I go back god, a couple of days before my match with Roman at SummerSlam to finish my back. You know, when, when he hits the pitch, uh, or, or my lows, you know, like, I know we're done. Bro, I just hugged him. I got a little teary-eyed, man, because it was, this, this almost broke me. I'm usually strong with it, but this is the first time, like, halfway. Man, I, I could not imagine. He, you know, I still through, don't know man. if I'm going to get my it's back It's also done. a symbol of uh, adolescence, you know? You're coming into your own being, and, you know, when you get deep into it, you, you can't help but be emotional about it mm -hmm. because it's a spiritual thing. They're in an arena, they're warriors. Utilizing our art, you know, I'm trying to construct it in a way where it looks like armor. 
Yeah, the, the ink contributes to Jay Uso as a character. Like, it does, but it doesn't. It was because mm -hmm. it is really me. With my ink out there, like, I do feel like a damn, like a superhero. To see it on that. a weekly basis like that, it's gratifying. I actually gravitate a lot toward the uh, wrestlers that have it, tattoos. Guess, you know, and humble I'm being honest. Time, how Just because I love tattoos. Uh, inspiring people to get that type of art form. And just to be clear, you, you don't have to be Samoan or Polynesian to get this. You feel me? It's all love. Uh, Wyndham, rest in peace. One of his best friends was Tongan and Samoan, and uh, that was his connection to the culture. God. And when I met him, I he talked about so that much. a lot. Man, I really love how you guys like are family-oriented and all that stuff. And just to share that small, significant that is so cool. part of us that's so visual, it's... It, God, that's so cool. Yeah, it means the world that. to me. Someone like Wyndham, who's also a great painter. I don't know if people knew that, but he was a great yep. uh, artist, too. If you haven't too, checked himself, out the so uh, documentary for too. Bray Wyatt, oh, my Sadly, gosh. Got the news. Go check it out. You know, Seriously. I was in it's the middle amazing. of tattooing. I, I, I was in shock at first, and then when it settled in, I ended up closing down the shop that day. And, and uh, you know, I don't cry all that much, but that one got me teared Jeez. up. So. But uh, it, was, it was a tough one, you know. Tough it was for a tough everyone. one for me. It's for, tough uh, for all of us. A short amount of time, you know. This person leaves this indelible mark on your life, and and just like that, they're gone, you know. And like, you wish mm. you would have, you know, spend more time with them. So that was rough, and that's why it, it's special to me that that I got to meet them through the work, through the art of tattooing, and connected with him on that level that's so awesome god it's gonna make me emotional Ugh, man this is definitely <laughs> emotional man I mean, probably my kid's name uh i got the palm tree most on my meaningful rib. tattoo i got both oh, dude, my those kids names and then I those told palm like the trees concept, they look amazing I put the name as a stem of the tree and then you just do your thing I kind of wanted to damn do both my sides, but I tapped out on the first side. So I was like, just put a little, you can put a little palm tree for the little one. What has fatherhood done to you? And saved me, man. Saved me, man. That's I had incredible. My, I had my son when I was 20. So now when I look back at man, it, Man, like, I'll tell you what. So whenever this whole bloodline saga was going on and everything, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Roman Reigns. Everybody knows that. <laughs> but man just seeing seeing this and like i am one of those fans that turned from disliking the usos to really being a big fan of the usos so i am pushing for jay because and to be able to see this and hear him talk about his tattoos and everything is this is awesome i absolutely love this so much so let's keep let's keep enjoying this i'm like man i was a young dad like I finally recognized how good I did because I could have just went the other way. Who's what? They see their dad out there on TV, which is like, eh, I whatever. can't imagine but what that's like, like. I know once they get of age, they're going to be like, yo, man, he went to work every day. Talk to your kids and tell them why you do it. Just know, mm. yeah, I'm out here working so you can have Jordans, man. But like, you know what I'm saying, son? You, this is what men do. If you really love your family, you, you, you take care of your family. You know, you want to give them, you want to give them everything. My uncle Maga, mm. family man too, man. Love, love his kids, man. No matter what, like just, man. I just, I can't ever talk enough about him. It's like, <laughs> if y'all knew him, he's soft spoken, very nice, very funny. Man, I knew I would get him on my body. Bro, oh, that was is before, so uh, cool. You know, Maga, I damn sure wasn't that sitting is so cool. in this seat. He's the one who, who took me into like, you know, man, hit me on the head and be like, man, go out. You gonna go out here and work out? You going to train? We're going to go get this contract. Man, I, I messed my damn tattoo up at War Games, man. So we're going to have to retouch that, Mike. Like, man. <laughs> Seeing Jay grow into this, uh, well, growing into his own person now, mm -hmm. that's like a, I'm proud of that because, you know, he's so confident, you know. I, I don't, don't bust my balls for this, but I'm going to say it. Like, when I first met him, he was always, you know, wasn't sure of where his career would be. Just to see him. You know, and his growth as a person. Oh, yeah. And of course, he's family now, you know, so it hits even more for us because we see him. Mike is the one that, like, gives me the damn confidence to, to like, push through it, you know, do it. It does speak of uh, my journey and where I'm at in my life. I want people, if you see all my ink, I just, the first thing I want them to be like, 
Man, that is some nice artwork. You know I think what? that's what I've everybody heard, wants whenever you have tattoos. Me, so it really, it, it makes me feel good, man. That's all because my man, man, that's my man right here. Now, I'm so glad, like, y'all, like, I knew I wanted to bring Mike here, bro. I knew I was like, bro, you got to do this with me. Like, <laughs> well, we got to, we got to, you got to let people see you and, 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 man, let the world know. This dude is awesome. I did not know a lot of this stuff. Awesome. All right, so on my return, we just witnessed a video of uh, Jay Uso talking about his tattoos and what they mean to him and stuff. Um, part of the reason why I wanted to go through that as basically the first video of me coming back into uh, the whole YouTube realm was mostly because of the fact that it was talking about tattoos. And tattoos are near and dear to my heart. So uh, let me know what you guys thought about that. Let me know what you guys think about Mr. J Uso. And uh, let me know what else you guys want to see. So just so you guys know, there's a good chance that a lot of my content moving forward is going to be very, very much based off of wrestling. Not necessarily just WWE, but I am at my core. I am a huge, huge, huge wrestling fan. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm also a big Beartooth fan, as you can tell, because I'm wearing the hat and all this stuff. But I'm a huge, huge, huge wrestling fan. And so we're going to start moving toward that. Um, if you like it, I appreciate that. And I can't wait to experience this journey with you. Uh, if you're not down with that, then I appreciate you checking out my content and everything. Um, no hate here. So uh, with that being said, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. We're back, baby.